it's been about 12 years since I last visited Las Vegas. So I was kind of curious to see what had changed from then till now. But we all know about the Murphy Law of Planning. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It all started when I packed for 70 degree weather. But upon arrival, we found out that a cold front had blew in and the temperatures were hovering around 46 degrees. I had also planned to document and record the trip, but when I stepped on the plane, I just felt really weird about walking down the aisle recording random people in their seats. So I just decided just to enjoy the trip without recording too much. When I made it to the Las Vegas airport, my Sony vlog kit would not work. So I lost all drive and trying to document anything. But I do want to take this time out to tell you about my trip, uh, everything that it entailed and how nice it was. I've been an Amex Platinum card holder for about two years. So this was the first time I ever used a card in the travel portal for flights. This was also my first time using the Clear and the TSA PreCheck service, which was pretty cool. This was also my first time visiting the Centurion Lounge and also paying a visit to the Priority Pass in the, in the Las Vegas airport. So buckle in as I share with you my experience with being a Amex card holder, traveling to Las Vegas, and having a nice time for spring break. As I stated, I've been an Amex Platinum card holder for about two years. I've never really had the chance to take advantage of the full program. I've always used a $200 hotel credit. I've always used the Uber every month. But this is my first time using the Centurion Lounge. I arrived at the airport about 5.30 to find out that the lounge didn't open till 6 and my boarding time was at 6.40 a.m. So I found the lounge uh, accessed about 6 a.m. when it first opened. It wasn't crowded at all. The breakfast was ready to go. Um, I was kind of blown away at how nice the facility was. The interior lounge is really, really nice and it's a great addition to being a card holder with AMX. So here's some of the footage that I captured. leaving the Centurion Lounge, we made our way to our gate to board our flight. This is my first time ever flying United, and the plane was very, very nice and clean. So we landed in Las Vegas, only to find out that I didn't pack accordingly to 46 degree weather. I had only packed shorts for 75 degree weather. So we got our luggage and discovered that our hotel didn't have a shuttle running from the airport, so we decided to take an Uber. Uber now has designated pickup areas in the airport had it in the most weird location. <laughs> you had to walk and find that it was cold outside. Um, I guess Uber nowadays is, I guess, the best way of traveling, uh, opposed to cab or whatever. And there were a lot of people in line waiting for their Ubers to pull up. It was about a 15 minute drive from the airport to the hotel and our Uber driver, he was really informative, told us places to check out and places to stay away from and stuff like that. Uh, he was a really, really nice tour guide. Uh, he dropped us off at the hotel. We went and got checked in. We stayed at the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas. I stayed at one in Dallas a couple of years ago, which was really, really nice. That's the only reason I chose that one. But the one in Dallas seemed to be a little nicer than the one in Las Vegas. We were able to check in early, so we decided to drop off our luggage in the room and go see the sights. So here's a little footage from the hotel itself. As I stated, it was called the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas. Really, really nice facility. As, as I stated, I did enjoy my stay in Dallas a little bit better. But here's some of the attractions and some of the views that we did see while we were there.
last 10 or 12 years, Vegas has really changed a lot. A lot of new attractions, a lot of the older hotels have been converted to another other hotels. Uh, they have the bridges that cross the street now, makes it easier to gain access to the other side of the road. A lot of elevators and a lot of new eating establishments. I will say that over the years, uh, the prices have really, really risen. Um, just you're going to on average it's twenty five dollars per meal just for an average burger and fries or whatever. I've seen some buffets that were like a hundred dollars per person all you can eat but they, i mean i guess it was really really nice food but a lot of times i think we pay for the experience opposed to paying for the food itself one of the attractions that i really didn't get the chance to see was the spear i saw it from a distance uh got a small video of it but i was expecting to get a little bit closer to it but i didn't have the opportunity so that's going to be on my bucket list for my next trip to las vegas attraction that we really did enjoy in, in Las Vegas was the artsy museum. People say it's really, really immersive. Um, it, it was kind of mind blowing to see what it had to offer. It was kind of like being trapped inside of a TV or watching TV inside of a TV. It was really, really nice. Um, I saw a video on YouTube about it a couple of months ago and they kind of recommended that, you know, it's a must see in, in Las Vegas. So we decided to check it out. I will say seeing the videos on YouTube kind of took the wow factor away from it. it kind of like you were expecting it. And I mean, it was it was nice, very immersive. I mean, I, I was blown away, but I just kind of wish I wouldn't have seen so many videos on it because it kind of, like I said, kind of took the edge off or kind of killed the wow factor. But here's some footage I, I was able to take inside of the artsy museum.
Another place that I really, really enjoyed visiting was the Eminem store. I've been an Eminem fan since I was a kid, and the, the characters are just so cute. And even at my grown age, I just, you know, just had to get something. I wanted to get an Eminem hoodie, but they didn't have my size, of course. But they did have the candy wall, um, just so many different socks, and just anything Eminem you could think of, they had it there. It was just, that's another place I would like to see again next time I visit and take a little bit more money this time. I just really, really had a nice time at the M&M store. So being that when we got there, the weather was cooler than I was expecting. Went down to the hotel, there was a store inside that sold uh, gear. So I found this Las Vegas hoodie. Uh, the lady was like, just so you know, if you buy it, it doesn't fit, you're kind of stuck with it, all sales are final. So I was like, well, it's a 1X, that should be, <laughs> be fine. I put it on, it was like super tight. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of stuck with it now. Um, the only reason we purchased this was because I said it was colder than expected. I just had to go see the sights. We're going to just, you know, I couldn't walk around cold. So, but the hoodie nice. It fits really good. Um, I love the color. So to end the trip, we visited the Priority Pass Lounge. I forgot the name of the lounge, but it was a Priority Pass affiliate. We went to the lounge. The first lady, she wasn't really helpful or really knowledgeable, knowledgeable about what was going on. Um, I had to call Amex to see, you know, what was the price for a guest and if I was even allowed to get in. Um, the lady on the phone, she called someone else and got clarification that, you know, I was able to access the lounge. It was $35 for a guest and it was unlimited food, unlimited drinks, unlimited alcohol. We, uh, we went inside of the facility. Um, the lounge was really nice. It was nowhere near as nice as the Centurion Lounge, but... As I stated, it's better than sitting at the gate. Um, they did have comfortable seating. The food was kind of mediocre, but it was it tasted well, but it was just, I think it was like some cut up potatoes, some kind of meat, and um, it was good. It was just, I was just expecting more of a Centurion experience, but um, it, it, was, it, was, it was cool. I mean, I would visit it again. Uh, the lady who was serving the drinks, she was really, really nice. They had some nice wine there. I had a glass before my flight. So, uh, the Party pass lounge, it wasn't bad at all. Just it just wasn't centurion status. Mm -hmm.